The Bay Circuit Trail on the edge of East Bridgewater, the eastern edge. You follow this and it goes all the way out to Crescent Street, which is the main arterial in the Bay Circuit. Straddles Crescent for a while as it picks its way through East Bridgewater. Here, we're at a utility power system. And uh, it's interesting, there was a ruling not too long ago, a few years ago, that made the utility companies less anxious about litigation. So in some cases they make their access ways available to Bay Circuit hikers. So once you come out of that straight shot to Crescent Street, you come here, make your way around this gigantic, terrifying industrial pylon thing. And then there's a little clearing in the woods. We're still in East Bridgewater for the most part, but we'll soon be passing into Hanson. And so you round the bend and this is where it begins. But there's next to no blazing Nothing useful or reliable. Much of it appears to have been ripped up. But nonetheless, if you're attentive, you can figure out that this is where it goes. And the first thing you'll come to is what has to be one of the more impressive and interesting boardwalk systems that traverses the town brook or some such thing. And rivals anything I've seen elsewhere. It was a scout project taking you over a wet meadow. You think, yeah, that's what I meant. Poor meadow brook. Late fall cattails. The brook is wonderfully clear. Probably a trout or two could be found in parts of it. Yeah. Foliage is passing quickly. I heard a few people already remark that it was a strange year for it. <coughs> Down here you actually have pornographic graffiti to adorn the trail. <laughs> and at a certain point the rails vanish. Must be a wet meadow, it gets too flooded to actually Support <laughs> trees year round. Wet meadows are kind of unusual. And so you come out of the wet meadow, re enter the woods, and this particular woods has all manner of strange problems. 
four wheel use or something, chewing up stuff like you wouldn't believe. And so we're coming off the boardwalk. The yeoman up ahead is trying to figure out where the blazes might have been because once again we're down in the south and they don't like blazes. In this case though, the directions, the trail description was enough to get us through. The map was sort of helpful, but if you're expecting blazes, forget it. And there's a bend of that river, brook. Hunting seems to be popular. We spotted two guys with elaborate compound bows already out here poaching, or they're ex they said, oh, we're just testing the trail. Uh-huh. So you have a part of the Commonwealth where people are trying to enact the great white hunter in the woods mythos as if it were Montana instead of little ridiculous dinky Massachusetts. And this stuff's important down here. It's the outcome of people who seem to have lost their moorings a bit. Pretty good stand of white pine. <laughs> My friend spotted, I think, three fully functioning blazes in the whole place. And then there are the telltale signs of remnant nail heads on trees. Good thing they use Galvi nails. Now this is the first of a series of mystery messes. It looks like a backhoe came here. I've been given to understand that it's actually some kind of all-terrain vehicle. But look at what a ridiculous mess this is. I don't know what it's for. Makes a nice place to breed mosquitoes though. <laughs> I'm guessing this must be what passes for recreation. You kind of start when you're a four-year-old boy and you have those toy trucks. Then you become a 12-year-old boy and your daddy gets you a loud putt-putt thing if you live in the woods and you go make messes. It's the narcissistic model for masculinity as opposed to the stewardship model. And so we route our way around the mess. Uh, there's a bit more of this ATV AT chew-up stuff. Here's how the trail went around it. And this gets us forward. We've got a stream ahead. There's some more stuff dug up by ATVs. And this is, I think, the last significant muddy tract. Now we're crossing some other kind of swale. <laughs> it's also, is it really a stream or is it just another ATV mess? We don't really know, but the way you get around it is 
thusly. Yeah, this actually, it's just really a mess made by lots of people on noisy motorized things. Wow. Actually, my take on this stuff is if you want to raise revenue for the Fed, just tax the shit out of all these stupid toys. <laughs>